What's up everyone? Derek again. Um, don't think I wore the same clothes. Uh, I'm actually doing the second video for today. Um, I was thinking after the last one, why not just give a reptile room tour and do everything now. Also, I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself. Um, so, without further ado, let's take a look at my reptile room. We'll get ready to go in here. I just want to add, I have no venomous snakes in here. <laughs> this sign is just for uh, when people come over that kind of wants them to stay out, and it works. So, <laughs> without further ado. Now, it's a work in progress, but not bad. Got my little blackboard over here where I keep track of the snakes and everything. Now, you're gonna see Double D's pythons around. Um, I'm planning on getting into breeding soon. Well, not soon, but I'm planning on getting into breeding eventually. I would say in a couple years. But I went ahead and put the name out and got some cards made and stuff like that. Got my banner made. Um, but, Anyway, let's uh, go ahead and give you the, the tour here of what we got going on. Uh, I got my 3D snake light. It's pretty neat. I love that thing. When it's dark in here, you can't even tell it's glass. It's really neat. Um, here's my leopard gecko. You can see him back there. He's actually sleeping, so I don't want to mess him up too much. He's in that log hide back there. There he is. Uh, anyway, give you a little bit of background around about me here. Um, where do I start? Uh, I'm from Pennsylvania. Uh, I served 15 years in the U.S. Army. Um, served in Iraq and Afghanistan. I've been out now since 2015. Um, probably the best and the worst time of my life. Uh, obviously, um, had a few good friends of mine pass away while we were over there. Um, I got lucky a couple times. Uh, I'm not gonna go into that. Uh, there was an incident involving me and a roadside bomb but I'm here I'm doing okay um, so we'll get get away from that topic uh, this is uh, some of my awards and pictures from overseas it's just my little tribute wall to some of my buddies who passed away uh, Jeffrey Stevens in that picture miss you buddy uh, this is a flag that was actually flown at our combat outpost in Kandahar, mm. and it's now signed by everyone who served with us over there. But, uh, okay, that's pretty much the, uh, the about me section. So, um, let's get into some, some reptiles now, okay? Um... First of all, like I said in the last video, um, I built this rack just uh, a couple days ago. I'm still waiting on, like I said in the last video, probably getting tired of me repeating myself. I'm um, waiting on the uh, the heat tape and everything from uh, the bean farm. But... Like I said, right now I have their heat mats underneath their enclosures now and it, it's doing perfectly fine to uh, heat everything up. Um, this room, I keep it right around 80 degrees in here, it's 79 right now. Uh, like I said, I have the, temp or the heater off in here. But the rest of the house is freezing 
Here, I'll show you. The rest of the house, let's see. What is it? 62 degrees, if you can see that on there. But in here, it's nice and warm. Currently, these are the uh, thermostats I'm using to keep the heat mats warm. I got one over here for the new guy. It's working great. It's working great. Um, I actually have a new one, um, a new rack. I purchased it from TGR, Tall Grass Reptiles. And it takes, I think it was 24 to 28 days processing time for them to build it. It's been a few weeks, so hopefully it'll be here soon. Um, like I said before, the bedding that I'm using here is, this is Reptile Prime. Uh, I got a few other ones that I'm going to be trying. Uh, there's a Reptile Prime. I just got my Repti chip in, and I'm going to be... Uh, soaking that in the water here soon and I'll probably give that a shot. I have the ZooMed Eco Earth. I use that mostly for the uh, leopard geckos. Um, I don't. I like the uh, more thick stuff for the snakes. Also, the Eco Earth, I try, I don't really, as you can see it's unopened. I tried it one time with the leopard geckos and I didn't like it because it is pretty fine. And I don't want them ingesting too much of that. So what he has in there right now is actually Reptile Prime. So I might actually put the Repti chip in the geckos. So we'll see how that goes. All right, let's, let's show you some snakes now. Like I said in the last video, here is Skye. She's a little hellion. She doesn't like coming out. Give me a second. Forgive me, I have a tripod here and not very expensive equipment. I'm not a big time vlogger, so I don't spend a lot of money. Wow, it looks like Sky is actually in her enclosure. Usually she's out, usually she's one that likes to lay on top of her enclosure. So let's go ahead and give you a look see at her. She's beautiful though. There you can see her. <laughs> Again, she is a super pastel, 100% piebald, and she came from Justin Kaboyka. Put the hide back in there. You alright, baby? Make sure I'm not smashing her head. Where are you at? There we go. I said I had to make sure I wasn't gonna smash her head in there. That wouldn't be good. I got some reptile primer bowl. Got to change her water now. Also, once I get the heat tape, these things will slide in a lot better. I know you guys saw Chewy earlier. Oh, there he is again. Again, he came from Brian at BHB love him to death <laughs> so friendly look at this it's not food buddy you're gonna get food tonight yeah it's feeding day this was my first ever ball python and I love him to death I mean I'd be lost without him he's the one that changed my mind about snakes honestly come on buddy come on back in there come on i'll see you later okay i'll get your rats later nope 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 hey 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 hey. come on get back in there <laughs> he's not wanting to go back in now come on there you go you would be good i'll see you in a little bit okay and here is my piebald Sure. Yep. He's in his enclosure too. Let's see. There he is. 
He's pretty calm. You're okay, baby. There he is. And what's really cool about him, I'm going to show you here, is he has a frown face. As you can see, he's squirming around now. But anyway, he has this awesome frown face here. Absolutely awesome. And when I first got him, he was another one who was very, very timid. Didn't like being held. Now, he's fine. But, anyway. That's a few of mine. And I got the new one today. That I'll have to... I don't really want to get him out and freak him out. He's uh, in his enclosure right now, settling in. So I don't really want to freak him out. But, anyway. Let me see here. He's actually out of his hide, so I'll be able to give you a look-see here. He's a beautiful one. There he is. Super Pastel Banana. But, anyway, that was a reptile room tour. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, again, don't be too harsh on me. It's only my second now second YouTube video so I, I please give me suggestions also let me know what you want to see um, I'd love to see some of your comments and I will comment back to all of you uh, please hit that subscribe button hit the bell notification so you get updated every time I upload a video and I will see you again soon so long